Hi Stampers, my name is Sandy Hancock. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I want to welcome you to Utterly Awesome Stamping. Today I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to call an upright Z-card. It opens like this and then it opens again inside and you'll put a greeting there and then when it stands on the counter it looks like this. It's actually quite easy to assemble so here we go. I want to show you how to put it together and then after I show you that, I have several other that I've also designed that I am wanting to show you. Okay, so we're going to start out with a simply scored board and I'm going to put the dimensions right here. So we're going to start out with a piece of cardstock. The main piece of cardstock is going to be 11 by, five and a half, uh, by 4 and a quarter and we're going to score it at 5 and a half. Alright, then I'm going to fold it and go ahead and burnish it real nicely so it'll be flat and look professional. Okay, the second piece, 10 by 4, the fir first score is going to go at 5 and a quarter. Now, when you fold this over, make sure that it's really accurate because it's going to make a difference when we put this card together. I'm going to show you in a minute how to do the second score. Okay, so we're done with that. We'll just put that there. Okay, now the second thing I want to show you is how to do the designer paper. When you look at this card, it's got designer paper in three places and all of it comes out of one piece of 6 by 6 Isn't that great? This is the perf uh, plaid tidings. And if you know me, you know that I absolutely love black and white, so that's what I'm going to use. And I started this a minute ago and realized I didn't know how to do something. So, Okay, so the first one we want is going to be, the layer is going to be 3 and 3 quarters by 5. So we're going to put this in at 3 and 3 quarters and cut it, and I did that a minute ago. And then when I turned it to go to 5, I go, oh wait, this cutter doesn't go to 5. Well, so I had to stop and think, okay, so I just cut off one inch. So now let's do that. I'm going to cut off one inch. And then that's the piece we're going to need for the inside. And so now, I'm going to kind of see which way this lines up the best. There we go. All right, so now we're going to cut the front flap. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, at three and three quarters. Okay, so do you see how this is all coming out of one piece? And then there was this little square right there. Okay, so there's all of our pieces. So our main piece, the piece that goes inside, the piece that goes across here, and then you've got a little extra square. And you can decide, maybe there's a cute place that you can put that. All right, so now let's put this card together. So the first thing we want to do is finish scoring this. And um, my friend Pam Overstreet, who showed me a Disney card that she had made, it was a Mickey Mouse card, said that she was having such a hard time figuring out exactly where this second score goes. And so her trick, and I think it was brilliant, was to simply fold the cardstock over right where you want it and burnish it and then it's going to be in the right place every single time so you've got this okay so now we've got our main card that's opening this way we're going to put some stamp and seal on the back of this and then we're going to put this make sure you're opening it the correct way wouldn't that be frustrating? Yes, I've done it before. Okay, so now here's what we've got. We've got our main card. See how easy that was? It looked a little complicated, didn't it? But mm -mm, it is so easy. So now let's go ahead and put a piece of white inside. Let me see, what did I do with that? Well, maybe we're not going to put white inside. Okay, we are going to put white inside. Okay, so we'll just do dot, dot not a lot okay put this inside we can go ahead and put our little one inch piece that came off of the front it just makes the inside look so cute i haven't put um, 
the greeting that I'm going to use yet in mind, but I know what it's going to be. Okay, so now we've got this and we've got our inside already finished. So now what we want to do is add this layer, which again is five by three and three quarters, to the inside and put the daisies on it. Let me show you how to do the daisies. I have shown you this before and previously in a video, but you may not have seen the video. So the daisies, if you look at them, they uh, are coming up a little bit. They're flipping up, which gives them personality. They look alive. It just makes them look so much cuter than a flat daisy. Here's how you do it. Put your thumb at the base of the petal. If you put your thumb in the center, which is it's the more natural thing to do, but if you do it that way, I can almost guarantee you you're going to pull off a petal. So if you just put it at the base of the petal and pull up, you won't pull off a petal and you'll get your daisies looking alive and so cute. So it's going to take two big daisies and then you're going to use the medium daisy punch for one daisy. And okay, so let's put these together. So all I'm going to do is just put a little, try to put a little stamp and seal. There we go. And kind of eyeball it to where these daisies are looking good. Okay, and we'll pop the little one right in the center. And then the Daffodil Delight is out of, uh, I use the one half inch punch, which is no longer current, but I love it, so I am going to use it. All right, it's just the perfect center in my opinion for these daisies. Okay, so now, to get these on and to get the leaves on, it's just a little bit fussy. So I'll show you what I did. I just went ahead and assembled it. And all it is is three sets of daisies like I just showed you. The leaves are cut out of the peony dies. But really you could use any leaves you want. I used Old Olive. Just any leaves you want will be just fine. And since that's mounted, I'm going to do the stamp and seal this way and I'll just make sure to not pull it to the very end <clears throat> because I know that my layer is only five inches okay so that's gonna fit on there perfectly here we go it's almost done and then the front piece is three and three quarters let me see if I got this Get it to match up the best possible, okay. Okay, and we're gonna put this right on the flap. See how quickly this goes together? You just have to kind of think ahead with what you're gonna do. Okay, in just a second here, I'm gonna show you. I'm using a, a stamp, let me just stop and show you. It's from this set called Strong and Beautiful. You are like a diamond, resilient, strong, and brilliant. And then inside what I'm going to put is you, you have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be proud, more proud. This is going to go to my daughter. Okay, so I'm just putting this on straight. I'm not putting it on dimensionals because I think this card has enough interest without it. Okay, and the last little touch is going to be Okay, so we're just going to add, see how did I do that? We're going to add a couple of little rhinestones here. And then, oops, come on people. All right, and then we're going to add one over here. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do is get a small little daisy. And I did, when I went to add the daisies to the card, I used glue dots. So we'll just add that there. Okay, so here we go. Take a look. Awesome. Open it up and then I'll put that final oops, come on people. I'm going to put that final greeting inside and boom, we're done. Pretty easy. Okay, now let me show you the next one. This was actually the first one I made. I made it out of warm and toasty using the polar bear. So cute. And this is the Feels Like Frost paper. So I just stamped the Polar Bear. This is a Seaside Spray uh, Blue. 
feels like frost paper. So again, all of these pieces come out of that one piece of six by six. I, I stamped the polar bear in black. The greeting from the set is stamped in Knight of Navy. And I didn't feel like I needed to add anything to the background of that one. It's cute. It's simple, but it's really, really cute. Okay, then the last one that I made so far is from this set, Autumn Goodness. And this is going to be a nice fall birthday card. And so I stamped the wheelbarrow in black ink onto Cherry Cobbler cardstock. Once again, I'm using the um, I'm using the Stitch So Sweetly dies to cut out the the rectangles. Okay, so and then the wheel is copper. So this one has a surprise that goes with it. I used the well-written dies for the happy birthday. So it says happy birthday, and as far as you know, that's all you're going to get, right? Can you see it? Can you see the happy birthday? But when you open it up, it says wishes, happy birthday wishes, and then this beautiful flower is also a part of the well-written die. So everything is from well-written. And I put a little clear rhinestone over the two eyes, birthday and wishes, and then I took my cherry cobbler uh, stamp and blend and colored in the two, two uh, rhinestones. And then inside again, I just put this, and I haven't put a greeting because I'm not sure who I'm gonna send this to. So that might make a difference in what I choose to put inside. So thank you for joining me for this upright Z card. And I can hardly wait to see what you decide to try at home. Please take a picture and send it to me. I would love to see what you create in design. So I'll just show you this one more time and say thank you so much for joining me. I'll look forward to having you back next time. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see my other videos. And all of the details for today are on my blog at sandystamper.com. Have a great day.